So sign in once you've got it in your place. If you guys, so today's plan, so I'm assuming that no more people are coming, and if they do, I'll just fill them in as well. So from 9 to 10, we'll be working on fills, stamps, variables, and fonts. From 10 to 10.10, 10, we will have a break. And then from 10.10 10 to 11, sorry, that was meant to be 10.10, 10, um, to 11, we'll be working on while loops and functions. Uh, and I'll write my name as well, so it's a bit hard. Oops. So my name is Charmaine. What a lucky name. Because <laughs> we're going to pick up on you as well. Yeah. So it'll be easy for you guys to remember as well then. 5, 6, 3, 6, 5, 6, 3, 9, 6. I don't know why the board's there, because wouldn't it make more sense to put it there so I could use it? <laughs> How would I go back there? Exactly well, so or he. Yeah, it will be so uncomfortable for me to keep going there, but... It wasn't Oh, okay, that's why. Well, hopefully it'll increase it to something bigger. Do you want to put yeah. your thing down there? I, whose laptop is that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Use it. No, it's it. Just take it out. It's an extra laptop. Give him much more space. Look, too many laptops. Do you want a book and a pen as well? Right, I'll put There's a book right here. And do you That's want my book? Okay, I didn't bring a book. Uh, I'll give you one. So this one has already had some pages used, you can just use that. So does everyone else have a book and stuff? Yeah. None? Okay guys, I'm starting in three minutes. So make sure you have everything connected, you're logged into Bitsbox and you're ready to go. Because I'm a bit strict when it comes to time. Because I still buy some of it, it's you. Yeah, but it's not there. You do that, it'll sign my order. I know. I know this for like. Do you want to fix it? Okay, you do, you do. <laughs> That's what parents say. Yeah. Uh, get this box. Good sign. Good sign. Good sign. Good sign. Okay, I'm just going to log in my last slot as well. because I know a few of you, but not many. So, um, my name is Sharmi. I'm studying a Bachelor's of Computer Science at University of Sydney. And I do teach coding as well, so I really enjoy it, and I really like working with it. So, what do you guys do? So, Shayan, do you want to expo uh, introduce yourself? My name is Shayan. I'm a student in Year 7 at Old Basel College, that's what I'm called. Okay, <laughs> and what about you? I'm Hamza Jamil, and I am also a student. <laughs> Also you seven? Also you seven? Okay. But yeah, I'm in Helsinki. Wait, I might actually write the name down. Can someone give me a piece of paper if that's okay? Wait. You go to the I have no Oh perfect. Uh, don't worry about it guys, I've got a paper. So just so that I remember the names. Because what I don't like is when people are like, oh you or you. Everyone has a name. You should call them by your name. So she um, especially new teachers, that's what they do. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Hamza, 
and Ashraf. So Ashraf, do you want to introduce yourself? Ashraf, actually. Raf. This is Ashraf. Raf. Ashraf. No, it's not Even I know. Raf, I know. Because <laughs> I'm going to aim my name for real. <laughs> okay, I'll call you Ashraf, okay? okay. Um, introduce yourself. I'm, uh, my name's Ashraf. I'm in year 11 in, uh, what was it? I'll say this my brother. Yeah, in, uh, in Sir Redfin, even though it has a bad reputation so far. Wait, what? Uh, yeah. What? I'm studying for a computer degree as well. Oh, that's amazing. So, so far. What, what school do you go to? Sir Redfin High School. Sir I don't know. Metro. Across the Sir Redfin. Sir Oh, I'm sure it doesn't have a bad rep. I mean, every school is good. It has good things and bad things. You can't really... I this feel like... Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. well, I mean, that shouldn't <laughs> stop you from getting a computer degree. Trust me. Yeah. What about you? So, in the real life, when I'm working on assignments for coding, they can be thousands, hundreds of lines long, okay? And so a lot of the times, you might have to give someone else your code. It's useless, right? Because even if you work in a workforce, a lot of the times you'll be using each other's code. So, to write comments, I want you guys to all to do this. And I want you guys, actually, I want you guys to put this online too. And first line, I want you guys to write in your own words what the line two is doing. So I would write, puts a background. Okay? But you guys could write, oh, okay, Phil does this, Phil does this, to make sense for you, okay? So that's using comments. And comments are so important, guys. They basically structure your code. They teach you how to write good code. And every programmer who, if a programmer doesn't know how to write comments, to be able to explain their code, then they're not considered a good programmer. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the times when I'm doing assignments for my own uni, comments are basically, they do manual marking. So they check your code and see if it makes sense to them. Okay guys, so once you've done this, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put in stamps. So stamp. And I want to put it in a stamp, and I'm going to search up from here. And whatever stamp you like. So there's Obama's head as well there. <laughs> there's monkeys, there's kangaroos, there's pandas. So whatever your favorite animal is, you can put there. Or you can put like, so there's Barack Obama's head. There's only the top of Barack Obama's head as well. What's the first one? Where's the so I'm going to put a panda onto the screen. Oops, I can't type. There we go. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's not gone. No, I was going to get to that later. So guys, I won't be writing comments. I will get you guys to write comments now, okay? So make sure you guys write comments on each line. Because if you guys keep copying copying the comments that I'm writing, then it's not going to make much sense. But if you guys write your own comments, and I will be checking them as well. So I'm going to make sure everyone writes comments. So just like your dad said, the comments would go in on line three. So line three is where all your comments would be written in. What's line four? Line four is stamp, and then. So, Shayan, do you want to come up here and write the comment that you would write for line 4? So, we're explaining what line 4 does. So, come up here and write down line, what line 4 does. Go on. So, explain line 4 to me. So, what basically line 4 is doing? Just write it down. Okay. Wait, do I do this? Yeah. Good boy, exactly right. So it places, it, it places an image on the screen. Okay, guys, does that make sense? Now, before I continue on to variables, there's something else that you guys should know, and it's to do with stamps. And it's called, it has two names attributes. and parameters. So, uh, attributes, okay, if I told you, Ali, to describe Ashraf to me, how would you describe him to me? 
different way. If someone doesn't, if I didn't know Ashraf and I've never seen him, how would you describe Ashraf to me? Uh, has glasses. Glasses. <laughs> okay, everyone has glasses. Can't really imagine him. Um, glasses. Puma glasses. Puma glasses. What else? Orange watch. Orange watch. What else? And a smart watch. Smart watch and an orange watch. watch. And a blue jumper. Blue jumper. What about his looks? What does he look like? <laughs> Average man. Average man, okay. Kind of have an image. What about else? What else? Okay, guys, what I'll get you to do is on a piece of paper, I want you to, in twos, I want you to describe Shayan. Hamza, Hamza, uh, Shayan, you're going to describe Hamza. Don't show it to the other person. And Ashraf, you're going to describe um, Ali, and Ali's going to describe you. And Sharmin, you're going to describe Arif, and Arif is going to describe you. Okay, guys? So I want you to do that. Just for, I'll spend that around five minutes on that, and then we'll share with everyone else. Yeah. Okay? So describe the other person. I want you to be you able write to it down. write it down. So in your own words, describe the other person to me. How would you describe someone else and make sense so that I could actually imagine and picture them? Okay, you guys? Mm -hmm. So it could be the way that they dress, the way that they look, the way that they smell. <laughs> yeah, it does make sense. Yeah. Because someone wouldn't know any oh, just right. from the pieces. No. Exactly, that's a good point. Exactly right. Ashraf. Come on, yeah, write it down. You can give a perfect you know explanation. Ashraf, write it down. Describe Ali to me really? on a piece of paper. Okay. Do you have a pen? Yeah. Okay, good point. Can do it on the last page. This one's not. Thank you so much. It says place. <laughs> more intelligent they are. But I feel like the neater your writing is the more intelligent you are because you can structure your thoughts neatly. <laughs> right? What if someone's in a rush and they have to convey their thoughts? Oh, that's yeah. true as well. Yeah. Maybe they have that many thoughts that they have to convey them. Maybe. Come on guys, I want, to, I want to see a lot, I see a lot of description from the girls, but I do not see a lot of description from the boys. So the boys do not want to describe each other. <laughs> Sorry? Yeah. 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 That's true. Wait, what's Okay, guys, around one more minute, and then we're going to start describing one another. Hamza? Yeah? Come on, describe. I'm looking at him. You've seen him so many times. How much more do you need to look at him? A lot more. <laughs> <laughs> Admiring you. <laughs> okay, so the first people we're going to be describing in around a minute is going to be Arib and Sharmin. And I want you guys to tell me how good they are at describing one another. Okay, guys? You'll be the one to read it. No, no. Okay, 
Okay. So guys, are you done? Everyone's done? As much as I know. Perfect. Are you done? Shan? Oh wow, Shan's just going on and on about that Hamza's beauty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually emphasizing on how his teeth pop out with the braces. <laughs> oh, no. no one knows the braces. <laughs> okay guys, so now everyone's done. I'm gonna Shermin, do you wanna get up? And do you wanna describe a reading to me? No, 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 no. Okay, go on and describe it. Oh, should I read it? Do you guys want me to read it? Yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah. Been good. No, you want to read it? Okay. Is this yours? So, Arim is a polite and quiet young 14 year old girl that has a very smart and quick processing mind. I wow. Always copy of her. She is wearing a black and grey striped cardigan and has a long navy hijab. She also wears purple glasses. Perfect, that's beautiful. Good job. Arim, do you want to read yours out? Do you want me to read it? Okay, guys, this is how Arif describes Shermin. She has a black hijab headscarf with sparkles. She ha wears glasses that are black and white. She has a zebra uh, print jacket. She has no glasses on. She's a female, so that's good to know. And black boots and black shirt. Good job, guys. It's amazing. The girls are literally winning. So, Ali and Ashraf, are you done? Uh, wait. Okay, so yeah, Hamza and Shayan, are you done? <laughs> okay, Hamza, read your turn. Are we ready? I don't know. Shayan is a 12 year old opposite of well, uh, okay. 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 So, boy. He wears a black jacket, he has black hair, he has a moustache, <laughs> he, has <laughs> he has dark brown skin. Dark yeah, yeah. <laughs> brown skin? That's not saying anything. He has a I'll tell you what's funny. Yeah. Everybody in my class is black, the teacher keeps on mixing them up. <laughs> oh what else? God. He has a pointy nose like his sister. <laughs> Okay, so what I know of, he looks smart and or intelligent, <laughs> even though he, he doesn't really talk much. Um, he's got casual clothes and a, a kind of flat hair scarf. Flat. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> His what opinions, else? after all. <laughs> what else? Um, he's got a perfect moustache and beard. Perfect moustache. <laughs> what else? Um, he's got a. He's got a. Smooth jacket and smoothness jacket. Uh, he's got a brown, uh, he's got brown pants and high tops, and he's a male from Pakistan. Uh, That's from good. Yeah, so Thank God I found out he's male. From an Indian background, oh. supposedly. I'm not Indian. <laughs> 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 I don't know, something like that. Subcontinent. Subcontinent. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. Okay, Ali, go ahead and describe Ashur. Good job, Ashur. That was really good. Good job. I need to make us laugh now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have I been the only one today? <laughs> a young man of average height. Average. Olive skin tone, black in my glasses, uh, blue jumper and blue jeans, very smart computers. Oh wow, nice. Someone I noticed something. <laughs> a comedian. A comedian. Black hair and he has two watches. Interesting. Um, you, know, you know who you remind me of? Um, there used to be this cartoon, I've forgotten what the name was. Um, do you remember the name? I, I've forgotten the name. And he used to have like a bunch of watches on his hand. And he used to like, be, oh. and they used to be at different time zones for different things. It's pretty really I've seen that one before. Uh, the um, oh. Grandpa Time or Master Time or... So yeah, something like that. It was, I, I remember oh. that. And he used to be so, I used to like have like a bunch of watches and he used to put them at different time zones. This is amazing. Good job, guys. Amazing. Last if one, Shia. If I have to describe him, I would simply say Korska. Is it? Oh, yeah, that's true. Inquisitive, smart, you know? I'll you know, a 12 year old kid around one meter high and had black hair, white skin. White skin? Had... White skin! Totally do that. And has a gray hat. Yeah. His front teeth pop out when he <laughs> smiles and you can notice his silver braces, which suit him. Oh, oh okay. Okay. <laughs> That's something There's a lot of love going on here, guys. <laughs> yeah. Now it just sounds weird anyway. The rest of him is an average look in terms of back and sides. He has a black jacket and blue jeans. 
and his jacket is made of leather. Hamza is bright but small. Oh! <laughs> Are you guys, everyone clap for yourself, that was amazing. That's so amazing. So, knowing that, so what have we just gone through? What do you think attributes do? What do you think attributes do? Just having gone through what we did. Good one. Exactly. So, description. So guys, in coding, there's a lot of times that we'll have to describe stuff because computer doesn't know, right? Mm -hmm. Computer doesn't know what Ashraf looks like, what Shayan looks like, so we've got to describe it. So attributes and the parameters are basically everything else that we write down. So what I'm going to teach you guys now is how to write attributes. So this is a step. Um, okay, now, I want it to be, it's right now here, I want it to be here. Who knows how we control that? Oh, God. It's called, oh, if you wait, do it in maths, wait, wait, I have to what do you think it's called? Question. Good. Something else? Oh, Good job. So what is this? X and Y. Good girl. Perfect. Games. Yes, perfect. So X and Y coordinates, guys. Okay? Oh, coordinates. So I like. Perfect. You guys are really smart. Yeah. I, I thought I was coming with like dumb people, but you guys are really smart. You guys are all pretty good. So guys. Sorry, sorry, I'm hanging in the front. So you have to say it. Um, so, um, yeah, I sure. I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, isn't, uh, aren't parameters part of the other one? I forgot the name. Parameters? Wait a second. Like, aren't they, what? like, a, like, a, like a sub, con, uh, like a um, subcategory under it? Good call. Well, good point. Exactly right. So, <laughs> parameters are basically everything essential to define something, okay? So, I want you guys to first write comma. And we're going to be putting this image, so whatever the image you have, I'm going to be putting it here. So the way we do that is we use X and Y coordinates, okay guys? And when you come up here, uh, Ali, I want you to tell me what the X coordinate would be. Just looking, because it tells you on there. Oh, mine's pitching out, so I don't know. <laughs> what about here? No, click the... No, I can see. Good boy, exactly right. So guys, first is always the X coordinate. So I would write 396. And then what would the Y coordinate be, Shaya? Uh, 178. Good boy, exactly right. So 178, and then I would close bracket. Okay guys? So, first is always the X coordinate, and the second is the Y coordinate, always. Just like X and Y. I'm sure when you guys work with that, it's always useful. <laughs> yes. X and Y. And yes, coding uses a lot of maths, so just get used to it. Um, okay, and once you press play, you would see that it shifts. Supposedly. And it shifts at the top. So what I want you guys to do now is I want you to put another stamp on the screen, and I want you to have one stamp on this side, and one step on this side of the screen. So top left and right left corner. Okay guys, that's one of your tasks I'm giving you. So have two stamps on the screen. One should be on the top right corner and one should be on the top, top left. Ali, is your thing working now? Yeah. Good. So top left and top right. Um, how's this not working? No, that's right. Stamp is right. So you guys have to coordinate what coordinates you will use to get them to appear on different sides. Um, Shepard's uncle, we're going to have a break at around 10 o'clock. Okay? Yes, yeah, that's fine. Did you guys bring any food for yourself? No. It's okay. Unless you want to buy it for us. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm still got my humor. It's okay. It's right. I like humor. It makes us laugh a little, you know. It's in unique. That's what makes me unique. Um, somewhere it's pretty um, Good job guys. Come on, two I want two stamps. One at the top right, one at the top left. Yes. Got it. Did you get it? Uh, no, 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 just got something I wanted. <laughs> it wasn't really working because <laughs> Something didn't exist. Okay, that's fine. Um, what was I meant to do? Just comma. Mm -hmm. No, no, comma first though. Yeah, did it. Good girl, Shami. Good job, perfect. Yay. Sorry for this. 
X plus one is, but not Y. Hang on, hang on. My dog is going to eat the French fries. Oh, yum. French fries are amazing. Okay, guys, are you guys done? Who's done? Put your hand up. Charmaine's done. There's so many stats. What brackets? Oh. I'm sure you guys uh, have found out by now how picky coding languages can get. Okay. I'm not picky. Wait, so we're supposed to put it in the corners? Yep, top left and top right. Top left. Okay, zero, three, one. So first task on the right here. Yes. Two stamps. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 No, I'm going to write it here. Perfect. It works. Perfect. Good job. Good job. Perfect. Okay, guys. Now, who is done with this task? Put your hand up. Whoever's done. Three people done. Cheyenne, how are you going? Ali? Can you move this panda down? I'm worried about his bottom. <laughs> On fire. Um, Shaka, um, Uncle, where's the toilet? I just quickly got to go. So you I'm so good at debugging. I didn't pick that up. Remember, you need to put the comments first. Once we're in the top left corner, we'll be there. 322. Good boy, a good girl. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting confused, this is too many. Okay, so 132 and 322. So first comma, and then 132 and 322. So that should put that there. There we go, so it's there. Okay. I might actually move it a little bit there. So I might do... X coordinate as 96. Oh, right side. Whoops. Okay. Now, that's a coordinate. What if I want to change the color of it? Um, or the font? Or anything? So I, these are all attributes, right? They define what text is. So, I'm going to get you guys to do this. Comma. So if I go up here, on here, I want you guys to all choose a color. If I go up here and go to colors, and choose any color you like. So there's heaps of colors here. I'm going to choose almond, or canary actually. I'm going to choose canary. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to write comma, and then I'm going to put an apostrophe, and I'm going to put, or sorry, quotation mark, and I'm going to put in canary. And there we go, it changes the color. So I want you guys to write text on the screen and I want you to put it somewhere nice and I want you to change the color to something. Nine o'clock is wrong. <coughs> I do like that. Yes, I don't think it could be nine o'clock right now. <laughs> So, um, what do you notice about how we're writing in Ashraf? Hmm? What uh, did you notice? Um, simple, in a way, but it's advanced in a way, but simple. Good boy. In a simplistic way. But, how, what do you notice about the way that we've written the color? It's... What are we using? How are we using it? It's just text. Yeah, exactly. Good boy, it's text. Yeah. But what have we used on the sides? Uh... What have we enclosed? What, how have we enclosed the parenthesis in a way? But it's quotation close. Quotation marks. Close. You're getting there. Close. But we use quotation marks. Okay, guys. Sorry, I'm not very polished at it. Is it? No, no, it's okay. But that's right. We, we're all learning, right? 
Yeah. So we write quotation marks, guys. So I want you guys to know I'm done. So once you've done this, I want you to say ye. Yes, I'm done. Yee. Oh, everyone's done? Good. Okay, guys. Now the one thing I'm going to end up with this session right now, till you guys give you a break, because I think the heads are starting to melt right now. Okay. So I want you guys to write down at the end. I want you to write down prompt. And I want you to say, how are you today? What is your name, actually? What is your name? And once you've done that, press the play button and tell me what happened. Exactly. It brings it. So, guys, have you guys ever gone to the website and it says you've just won ten thousand dollars? Oh yeah. So, does that remind you a bit of this? Oh. So now you know that it's all JavaScript. You haven't actually won ten thousand dollars. So, if I press the play button, <laughs> and you can even write your name there. So, if you write down Charmy okay, and press enter, how? Write down your name. Can you write your name? Oh okay. One step ahead. Yes, exactly. Now, guys, what we'll do is we'll take a break now, and we'll come back at 10, 10, and then I'll give you guys a concept of variables. And then you'll use those variables for if loops, actually. Yeah, this is getting somewhere. Finally. Do you, how do you guys, do you guys, okay, so now before I let you guys go, just for now, um, what have we learned so far? So I want you guys to name one thing that we've learned today. Shayan, can you name one thing? Okay, Just say about coordinates, so x and y. Good boy. Thumbs up. Uh, we'll have to figure out how to add stamps and stamp and backgrounds and fills. Good job. What about Yasha? We learned how, to, how the coding system works. Good job. So what does HTML stand for? Uh, hypertext markup language. Good boy. Ali, what does CSS stand for? That's shading system sheets. Style sheets. I was close. <laughs> okay, what else did we learn? Yeah, so like, I don't like the different meanings of terms. So Good boy. Okay, what about you, Shirley? We learned that um, if you put a bracket for an opening, and if you put in a cross for an opening, then you have to close. Good girl, perfect. Ari, what did we learn? Good girl. Okay, guys, so take a break, 10 minutes, and then we'll continue back, okay?